and I am here at the Philip Ashley Rooftop Spray. And we're getting ready for chocolates and cocktails at the Twilight Sky Terrace at the Madison Hotel in downtown Memphis. <coughs> All right, I am here with the man himself, Mr. Philip Ashley Riggs. How you doing? I'm doing fine, doing fine. How are you? I'm good. Now, your event here is a great success. There's so many people, everyone that I talk to, they've enjoyed themselves. How does it feel to see, you know, all this come together? Great. I mean, you know, we love doing this sort of thing. Uh, really a way to showcase what we do, uh, the design of chocolates and how we pair them with the different cocktails and wines and spirits and that sort of thing. So it's been a great night. We're still in the middle of it. Uh, the Madison has been awesome and allowed us to use the Twilight Sky Terrace. And we've just been having a good time. We have great music, we have good food, and uh, of course the chocolate. So, yeah, yeah. Now, is this your way to kind of like open the minds of the people here to say, you know, this is what I do. Sure. Check it out. It's a great thing. Enjoy it as much as I do. Yeah, absolutely. And then also just kind of bridge the gap between well, more so an awareness saying, hey, we're here, this is what we do, we're located in Cooper Young, uh, but we have these sorts of events. One, just to do something different in the city, but also to expose them to the type of chocolates that we do. It's, it's much different than your you know, normal run-of-the-mill truffles. And so, just an exciting way to say, you know, yeah, think outside the box and here's some chocolate to help you do that. So. Now, I've enjoyed myself. And I know there's more to come. You're having other events. When's the next one? So we do them the third Thursday of every month. So the next one is June 19th. Uh, and it's cognac, chocolate, and cigars. So we have a new line of cognac chocolates coming out. Um, things like a blueberry smash, which is um, one of the cognacs we use with a little blueberry and lemon. Um, but yeah, so that one and then tequila, touring tequila in July. So tequila and spicy chocolates. Um, August, we're doing international wines. Um, and then all the way to October is our big one. We have our masquerade, and so we're going to do that at the Pink Palace on Halloween. So oh. that'll be, that's definitely one to come to. So. Okay, gotcha. Well, thank you so much. I know you have to run. You got a lot. You're a busy man out here. But thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks so much. Okay. All right. all right. I am here with Miss Gina and Cynthia. They are here from the Madison Hotel events. And as you can see, someone's doing a good job here because it's an amazing event. So how are you guys doing? Wonderful. How about you today? Good. Yeah. We ordered up a perfect night just for Chaka Street. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> perfect night. Yes. Okay. So how do you get involved? How did you guys pick up and get together with inviting this event? Um, Philip is a shop owner in Cooper Young, and I live in Cooper Young. And I had heard of him prior to his shop. And when the doors opened, I called him and I said, I want to know what you do because I see you all over the place. And so he partnered with us for the launch of Twilight this season. He brought some chocolates that were flower shaped for our spring fling. And so when he was here for that, he's like, could we talk about doing a tasting? And I said, absolutely. So um, this turned out to be a perfect night for it. So, yeah. Now, Cynthia, this is such a beautiful place. Are you enjoying yourself? Are you supposed to be working or are you supposed to be playing right now? Well, you know, when you work for the Madison Hotel, we're always at work. But at the same time, we get the advantage of enjoying this beautiful view each and every day. Um, so this is our Twilight Sky Terrace, and so it's just a way of us interacting not only with our guests, but people from Memphis, and we want to make sure everyone enjoys Twilight Sky Terrace. Perfect. Now, how can they get it? If they want to have an event here, how can they get in touch with you guys? Uh, best bet is to go on the website, twilightskyterrace.com. There's an email link and a telephone link to call me directly. Well, thank you, ladies, so much. Appreciate it. Okay. Have a great time. Yes, I am. <laughs> Mr. Adam Cornelius. I love that last name. So do I. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. How are you? I'm good. Now you're here at the Philip Ashley Rooftop Soiree. It's very nice here. Right. How did you meet Mr. Philip Ashley? I met him at an event probably about six weeks ago. It was wonderful. The chocolate was wonderful. So I was invited back for chocolate, liquor, and cigars. So how much better could it get? I don't think much better than that. So you're here having a good time. One, having a wonderful time. And you're not from Memphis, but you said you love the Madison. Right. You love the Madison. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm from Birmingham. I'm in Memphis about half the time. The Madison Hotel is a wonderful hotel. They always treat me wonderfully. Okay. Well, I'm glad 
you're here. Thank you. You have been a joy to talk. Thank you very much. So thank you so much, Adam. Thank you. All right, I am here with Miss Courtney Riggs. Courtney, how you doing? I'm fine. I'm doing great. Thank you. Well, you're looking beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so your husband put on this amazing event. Does he ever get a little nervous when he's doing this, or how is? Is he cool and laid back? He's, he's always cool and laid back, but I think it's nervous excitement. So he's like ready for it to take place. He wants everybody to have a good time, um, but he does want everything to go well and be perfect. You know, so he, he has a vision, so he wants it to execute well, which is a lot of it. So uh, he doesn't get nervous in a bad way, but I think it's just good energy. So it helps. Gotcha. Now we're here at the Madison rooftop. It's so nice down here. How are you enjoying yourself? It feels really good. I enjoy Memphis. I love my city. We both do. And it's nice to be able to get downtown and enjoy it. And then this time of the year, it's kind of back and forth with the weather. You never know what's going to happen. But tonight turned out really well. The weather's beautiful. It feels great. I'm just relaxing and getting to sit still for a minute. So it's nice for a change. Because we're always on the go. <laughs> Are you looking forward to the next event already? You already planning it? Yes, I'm, I'm going to try. So it's a little harder for me now. We're expecting. So I, I try to get to everything, but I can't enjoy it as fully as everybody else. But I am. And, and this time of the year, once he starts doing the tastings again, it's, it's kind of like, ooh, let's see what's going to happen next. So we get excited. And I do too. So I like to see his creative mind at work. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Courtney. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've had such an amazing time here at the Philip Ashley Rooftop Soiree. We've had chocolates, cocktails, hors d'oeuvres, and a lot of mix and mingling going on right here at the Madison Rooftop in downtown Memphis. I truly enjoyed myself, but if you missed it, don't worry, there will be more to come. Other events that he's hosting, and I'm sure they will be just as fabulous as this one. So remember, it's always the latest with VR. Until next time, bye. L3 Media is the Miss South's premier videography and photography company. We specialize in capturing all of life's greatest moments. Whenever you need talented and professional service for your special events or business, L3 Media is the company for you. You can contact us at all of our social media sites. You can like us on Facebook, check out our website, follow us on Twitter, or always feel free to email us. We are L3 Media, your number one source for all your videography and photography needs. Give us a call today. The purpose of this PSA is to show you the image you may have of somebody who is HIV positive is probably wrong. You can be in a relationship with somebody who has HIV or AIDS, but you can't go into a situation blind. You have to know what you're working with up front. Get an HIV test so both partners can be safe. In this day and age, AIDS is no longer a death sentence. I wasn't supposed to live past the age of five. I'm now 27. So if you get a positive HIV result, talk to your healthcare provider about starting treatment. I'm Hydea, and I have AIDS. Please, get tested. Hey, I'm Bashana Renee, and this is another episode of The Latest Show. I'm Janika Renee, correspondent for The Latest with VR Show, and I'm here at the grand opening for the Dana Fashion Glam Teak. It's a lot going on inside, so let's go check it out. All right, I'm here with Kimberly. Kimberly, how long have you known Ashley? How long have I known Ashley? Me and Ashley went to school together, so I would say roughly 15 years, maybe. Whoa, that's a long time. So what? I like her in the beginning, though, but it's we've grown to love each other. Yeah. That's always a good thing. So what do you think of this boutique? Um, actually, I'm a little biased. My biased opinion is that I love it. My unbiased opinion is I've been to several boutiques in Memphis, and this is absolutely the sexiest one. 
<laughs> is it because of the pink? The pink definitely do it. The black do it. The gray do it. The diamond do it. The bling. Everything. Everything about this place is sexy. Okay, that's a good thing. And I heard that you, I know that you have your own boutique. I do have my own boutique. The name of my boutique is Houston's Thrift Boutique. It's a, it's an upscale thrift store. Okay, that's a good thing. Thank you so much for seeing me. Okay, I'm here with the man behind Dina Fashion, the husband of Ashley, Mr. David Parson. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. That's good. And what are your thoughts on the boutique opening? I think it's uh, fantastic to actually see her realize her brand. Uh, it's something she's always wanted to do, so I'm absolutely elated. You know, uh, Anytime she's happy, I'm happy. Happy wife is a happy life. Okay. <laughs> I love that saying. Have you been put under any stress with the, the opening of the boutique and anything like that? Well, not at all. I've just been writing checks. <laughs> just writing checks. And I'm sure I'll get it back in the long run, so it's no big deal. Right, and you're congratulating her and welcoming her to this new venture, right? Absolutely. And I love it. So that's the most important thing. That I love. Oh, and there you have it. Thank you so much for the interview. <laughs> All right, I'm here with April Clark, one of the makeup artists for the Glam Teak. How are you doing today? I'm fabulous. How are you, ma'am? I'm good. So how long have you been working for Dina Fashion? Actually, I just started. So, I mean, I'm, I, we're familiar with each other's family, and I saw an internet posting on online or whatever, and I saw she needed a makeup artist, so that's how she came here. So this is my first, first time working with her. Okay, and how long have you been doing makeup? I've been doing makeup going on four years, pretty much. Yeah. Okay, and what made you interested in doing makeup? Um, I bought my mom some makeup for Christmas one year, and she was, like, asking me to get her some makeup. And I went to Sephora and got those $50 beauty kits that they have on special. And she never used it after I bought it. So I was just like, let me, let me utilize this and see what I can do with it. So I uh, started playing with it, and I actually got a lot of compliments, you know, saying, hey, you know, you're pretty good at this. So I was just like, okay. Okay, so I just keep doing it. So uh, after a while, I didn't realize how good I was until I applied for Lancome, and they had like four girls uh, and other than me trying to get the job, and so they picked me out of all of for the last slot, and I was just like, whoa, okay. So I started taking it more seriously, and then ever ever since then, uh, blessings started to come, and I just been more passionate about it every day. That's really good, and I know you did your own face. It looks beautiful. It's beauty, makeup artistry. Yes, glam teak. <laughs> Thank you so much for the interview. No problem. All right, I'm here with the owner of the glam teak, Miss Ashley. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm good. So, where did this name come from, glam teak? Well, the name Glam Teak came from Glamorous and Boutique. Um, I love to be glamorous and I already own a boutique. And so a boutique is basically something that is unique and different and one of a kind. So what better word to use than Glam Teak? Okay, and what do you think about your grand opening? I think that my grand opening is awesome. I'm always so blessed to have a great turnout. Always have had a supportive crowd and I'm just very thankful. So is this the vision you have for the boutique? Oh, absolutely. It is everything that I dreamed that it would be. It's so beautiful in here. The chandeliers are perfect. The lighting is perfect. And the clothes are gorgeous. And the people that work here are beautiful inside and out. Oh, thank you so much for the interview. <laughs> All right, we've had a great time here at the grand opening for the Glam Teak. It looks as if it will be a huge success. And thanks so much to Ashley, who's the owner of Dina Fashion. And remember, it's always the latest with VR. I'm Janika Renee. I play hard. When I was a kid, playing professional basketball seemed like an impossible dream. There were the 10 mile runs, the hours spent in the gym, the conditioning, the full court sprints, strength training, sweat, dedication. There was a dream to win a championship. But some things in life are more important than a ring, like my health. Diabetes and kidney disease might run in your family, but there are things you can do to help prevent it from happening to you. By eating right and exercising, you can rise above the rim and keep your health in check. Join me in the fight against diabetes and kidney disease.
if we contemplate our past to understand ourselves, there we will find how far we have come. How far we need to go. In what we have become. In what we will eventually be. If we search even deeper, consider all the elements that make up our human potential, there we will find an awe-inspiring discovery. Knowledge is to be sought, gained, embraced through education. And this education transforms everything. Ignorance becomes awareness. Awareness awakens possibilities. Through education, life unfolds, expands, takes shape. And through this self-revelation, we gradually appreciate a saying passed down from generation to generation. An adage whose meaning becomes apparent. And the saying is this, that when we combine pursuit of knowledge magic happens I'm Angela Bassett here to ask you to support Virginia State University building a better world since 1882Hello friends, I'm concerned about the health of our African American community. According to the American Heart Association, our rates of high blood pressure in the U.S. are among the highest in the world. And diabetes, obesity, high cholesterol, physical inactivity, poor nutrition and smoking are causing us to suffer and die from stroke at alarming rates. In 3 John 2, the Bible says, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. Visit PowerToEndStroke.org and become empowered to take care of your health. You are the power to end stroke. Shana Renee, host of the Latest with VR show, and I am here at the Bradford in downtown Memphis for the Natural Hair Meetup Day. We're getting ready to mix, mingle, have a good time, and learn about all things for us natural girls here. All right, I am here with Miss Natalie Gilmore. How you doing, Natalie? Doing really well. As you can see, she's rocking her crown, Miss Natural Divinity. This is big, so tell me a little bit about the pageant, how you got into it, how was it? Yes, um, last year a co-worker of mine referred me and they said, hey, you should be in this um, show. So I thought it was a fashion show. Okay. And so I went to the audition and I, real, and, I, and I got it. But then I realized that it was a contest, like a pageant. And I had never done a pageant or a fashion show before <laughs> in my life. So I was nervous and we went through months of rehearsal and you know, just, we had to do a talent, we had to have three um, outfits to show, we had to do a dance, yes, and um, so yeah, so we did all that, I was probably the most nervous of them all, <laughs> had no idea that I was going to win, and I won. <laughs> wow. And tell me your talent, you have to tell me. What was I did spoken word, and I did um, for color girls. Yes, it was a for, for color girls spoken word, and it was very dramatic, and I told everybody that I was a different person the whole time at that show. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. <laughs> alter ego. It was my alter ego, yes. I'm still thinking of her name. <laughs> okay, we gotta get her a name. I know, we do. 
Okay, so now you're here at the natural meetup day. Are you enjoying yourself? Yes, it's very nice. I didn't. I've never been to the Bradford. The atmosphere is really cool, and all these vendors are really cool, and I can't wait to get some good stuff. Now, this is the third annual. Is this your first time coming? Yeah, this is my first time. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been a natural girl? I've been natural for three years now. Mm -hmm. Three years. I did the big chop and everything. I, I had a half an inch when I cut all my hair off. So, oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you're loving all the styles here. I know I am. I'm getting inspiration. And I'm about to start recruiting and say that they should sign up for Miss Natural Divinity 2015. <laughs> yes, well, good for you. And thank you so much, Nellie. I appreciate you stopping and talking with us. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We are here with none other than <laughs> Miss Angela Jackson. How are you doing? Doing, doing good for a rainy Saturday. Isn't it a rainy Saturday? <laughs> I know, I know. But we're getting through yeah, it. We're getting the through it. Out now. We're trying to, you know, liven it up. If not, we're still good sunshine <laughs> to have in the inside. Yes, so yes, how yes. you been doing? Yes, still good. Doing pretty good. good. Okay, so we're here at the Natural Hair Meetup Day. Yeah, the international. International yes, Natural national. Hair Meetup Day. <laughs> yes, and you're here, you're helping mm -hmm. out Miss yes. April. So how did you get involved with it? Actually, after meeting uh, Pearl Walker with mm -hmm. Legacy Locks, which I just love it. Like, being a part of the natural culture, mm -hmm. it's like, it, it's an avenue to meet so many different people, uh, race, gender, just so many talented people. So that's how I was able to meet April and to be a part of the International Natural Hair Meetup Day mm -hmm. through Pearl Walker with Legacy Locks. Okay, gotcha. Yes, because I was Pearl, Yes, Pearl is, you know, whatever natural hair is there, Pearl is. <laughs> Well, I'm looking forward to uh, visiting each of the, the vendors, looking at the, the jewelry, the different products. But most of all, I'm looking to learn different techniques and things that I can do on my own. I, I love going to the shop. I actually grew up in the beauty shop, right? <laughs> but the reason why I love coming to these natural meetup days is because you get to learn the extra little tips that you may not get a chance to learn in the salon. So that's what yes. uh, I'm eager to see today, the different vendors and the stylists to get different tips for my hair. I love that, because a lot of people feel like natural hair, it's easy, oh, you just get up and go. You know, it's a lot of maintenance to keep this look. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes it is. But I think, although people say it's a lot of maintenance, mm -hmm. but I think it's a little less of maintenance than when I wore a perm. Mm -hmm. so. And because you went twice, you've done this twice yes, now. Yes, yes. So tell me why you went back. This is my second time. the creamy crack. You would make the creamy crack. Yeah, actually, believe it or not, I first went natural because I wanted to do something different, and then it was a skin thing. But at the time, I was doing TV, some TV okay. stuff. And I felt a little pressure just from uh, the people, the public. I really didn't know how to wear my hair. Yes. Going natural the first time around. And everybody was a natural. And I got all those exactly. horrible comments like, you gonna wear your hair like that? <laughs> Ooh, your head show is nappy. <laughs> you know, and plus there were it just wasn't all these support groups. Um, yes. I don't recall going to uh, a natural hair meetup day. Right. Exactly. So my first time around going, and then I went back to the perm because I felt the pressure. Didn't know how to wear it. Didn't know how to style it. Exactly. You know. So this time around, um, I'm, I think I'm natural for life. Yeah, because a lot of people are going natural now, which I love. I love to see all the styles, which inside, there's so many people, so many different styles. Big, little, you know. Yes. Everyone is rocking it. Yes. Everyone is rocking it. So thank you so much, Angela, for, I know you're busy. You got to run, <laughs> but taking the time yeah. out to stop and talk with us. Thank you so much. Wow. So enjoy. Thank you so much. Enjoy thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to add that yeah. hopefully I'll see you at Naturals in the city that's going to yes, be here in Memphis. I will definitely be there. And that's what, July? It's June or July. June or yeah. July. Yeah, it's coming up quick, though. Coming it's up coming up quick. quick. Yes. And I'm loving your due, too. Thank you. Right, Thank thanks. you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. All right. I am here with Miss April McKissick. This is her brainchild here. International Natural Hair Meetup Day, third annual. How you feeling, April? I'm feeling good. I mean, we're really great with the turnout, mm -hmm. even with the weather. Uh, the natural lady still came out today. That's another thing about the natural. I was just about it's to versatile. say. I was just about to say. It's versatile, so definitely. We're excited. Yes, yeah, I'm excited. Yes. Rain, we can get it wet. It don't matter. We'll still be fly. Exactly. At the end of the day. So exactly. Stay away from that cream and crack. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> yeah, we're okay. going to that later. <laughs> so, this is the third annual. Yes. How did it get started? How did you get started? Well, I, 
I know a lot of naturals from everywhere. And basically what happens is this great lady out of North Carolina, her name is Adia Rogers. Okay. And she decided to have natural hair events all over the country. Okay. Uh, which now is all over the world right. on the same day. And she was looking for groups okay. in the area. So I had MCA Naturals, which is yeah. Four City, Arkansas, my mm -hmm. hometown. <laughs> so that's how we got started. And oh. so I got hooked up with some beautiful ladies over here in Memphis. Mm -hmm. And we said, let's get a spot. And so that's what we did. And we invite everybody out and support some small business. That's a good deal. I love it because you have so many vendors now. Do you handpick the vendors or do they come to you? Or, you know, how does that work? So a little bit of handpicking sometimes, but I get a lot of a lot of new vendors. So actually this year we got quite a few new brands. Um, mm -hmm. People have definitely started coming. Companies are trying to get out there, get their brand in front of people. Um, but I have quite a few returning too. Some of them have been with me for like for three years. Every year they've been at one of my events. So we're always happy to support. Okay, gotcha. And we want to say we do not discriminate if you're not natural. You that can is still correct. come and learn and get some very cute items yes. that we got in there. So we don't discriminate. It's yeah. not just for natural girls, but it's for everybody. It's I mean, we say if you're yes. locked, you're natural, you're relaxed, or you're just thinking about it. Yes. Or I say if you're curious, you're naturally curious. <laughs> then you would definitely want to come out. The vendors, like I said, are great. Um, you get to meet great people like Mrs. V over here. Um, and just mingle with people. Learn about the scalp, yes. about health, your body, all different types of things. Love that. Now, FCA Naturals. Yes. That's your baby. That's my baby. Yes, tell me a little bit about it. Well, I started FCA Naturals with my best friend about three years ago. Uh, the brand has really, really grown over the years. We have expanded. We do natural hair and body products. And then also our annual event right here that we're doing here. So we're really excited. We just came back a couple weeks ago from Atlanta. We did the World Natural Hair Show, which was a huge success. So we're excited. Uh, we're in Grenada. We've actually expanded. We're doing wholesale there and actually in Trinidad. So we're really wow. growing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, now tell everyone before you run off yes. how they can reach you, how they can find out more information about FCA Natural. Okay. All that good stuff. Well, if they want to reach me, they can find me online, fcnaturals.com. They can also find us on our Facebook page. And if you like free stuff, every Wednesday I do a giveaway at FCA Naturals on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Or they can call me, 888-905-3339. Um, Thank you so much, Thank April. Thank you for having me. I appreciate me. it. You're welcome. This is good. I know because you have been a busy woman this morning. I know, this running around. Yes, but I'm glad we got to sit down and chat. We'll have to do this again. We'll Definitely. have some more time. We can, you know, dig more deeper. Definitely. I would love to come natural, back. So yes. Perfect. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. I've had a great time here at the International Natural Hair Meetup Day. There's so many natural women here, all ages, all different types of styles. April McKissick did an awesome job here at the Bradford in downtown Memphis. There's been speakers, vendors, food, of course, great music, and I've had a great time. Thank you again for watching another episode of The Latest with VR Show. Until next time, bye.